Justin Martyr, for example, that calls Muhammad out. I'll make a bold claim. If you can show me where Justin Martyr wrote about Islam and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, I will delete this video, I will delete my entire channel, and I will never speak about Islam or Christianity again publicly. Today's episode, we have a really interesting, a really exciting episode for you guys. Just as the title of this video shows, Mr. So-called God Logic from his little God Logic Apologetics channel, which is nothing more than regurgitating the same old tired arguments against Islam and Muslims from Sam Shamoon and David Wood. That's all it is. It's a repackaging, regurgitating of Sam Shamoon and David Wood. He's watched their videos and he's trying to make a name for himself, even though he got completely destroyed by Sheikh Uthman. But now he's absolutely destroyed himself beyond recognition with such a career-ending embarrassment of an argument and statement he made in a recent live stream on his own platform. Muslims didn't even have to do it to him. He did it to himself. A complete embarrassing moment. So let's go to the clip and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's so surprising on one hand, but at the same time, when your mentors in your apologetic work are actually David Wood and Sam Shamoon, we really shouldn't be that surprised, should we? So if during that time, the prophet is telling people, you will find this thing mentioned that Jesus professes about Muhammad coming, then the Christian during that time should have said, no, show us, we don't have it, all those things. So because of the fact that we do not have record that they protested against that shows that orally they may have that. And secondly, I am so saying it. Listen, listen. Yep. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And listen, I am, I am saying something again that an argument of silence doesn't work. That's no, no. Let me say something. No, that's no. I got to address what you just said. An argument okay. of silence is not a valid argument. Saying. Oh, because I don't see a record of people not uh, objecting to this claim means that this that it must have been there, that the, 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 the prophecy of Muhammad must have been in their scriptures since there's no record that I have seen of them objecting to this or saying, show it. You have many Christians across the years, Justin Martyr, for example, that calls Muhammad out, that calls Islam out, calls the Quran out as a joke because of the things that it claims about Jesus and him being mentioned in the scriptures and because of this. You should read what Justin Martyr says about Islam. You should read it. So you have records of people going against Islam, these claims that Jesus said this or Jesus did this or the prophets did this. Justin Martyr made it a laughing stock about Islam, bro. So an argument from silence doesn't work, man. It's either it's there or it's not. Well, there you have it, guys. And uh, he seemed to be having a discussion with a Muslim where the Muslim was talking about the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, being prophesied in the Bible. And Mr. So-called God logic, although the guy is not logical at all, turns around and says, well, don't you know, Mr. Muslim? Don't you guys in the audience know? that Christians have been refuting this idea way back, so many of them, even including Justin Martyr himself. And you should go and read Justin Martyr for where he refuted this idea of the Prophet Muhammad being mentioned in the Qur'an, where he refuted Muhammad, where he refuted the Qur'an, where he refuted Islam, and he made it a laughing stock. Well, the only laughing stock is you, Mr. God Logic. Why? Because Justin Martyr didn't write one single letter about Islam. Justin Martyr died more than 400 years before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was even born. You idiot. You complete moron. And you're saying that this is a laughing stock? The only laughing stock is you, sir. The only laughing stock here is you you making a ridiculous claim <laughs> that justin martyr refuted the quran 
refuted the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and refuted Islam and the Qur'an when he died in the year 165. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not born for over 400 years after he died. So how in the hell did he write about that? Well, guess what? I'll do you a favor here. I'll make a bold claim. If you can show me where Justin Martyr wrote about Islam and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, I will delete this video, I will delete my entire channel, and I will never speak about Islam or Christianity again publicly. So there it is. You can end my career, although you won't be able to do it and you've ended your own ridiculous, sad claim of a career, which is more nothing more than just a regurgitation of Sam Shamoon and David Wood's arguments, which are terrible to begin with and have been refuted for over a couple decades now. But you can end my career by showing me where Justin Martyr ever spoke about Islam, the Quran, or the Prophet Muhammad. And he was telling the Muslim guy, don't you know the, the uh, Christians already refuted this argument that the Prophet Muhammad is prophesied in the Bible? And Justin Martyr did it. And somebody may say, oh, well, hold on a second, Brother Jake. Even Muslims might say, hey, we don't like the guy, but you're not being fair. Maybe he just misspoke. We can't give him that excuse of misspeaking because he repeated the words Justin Martyr, Justin Martyr, Justin Martyr, not once, not twice, but three times making the claim that Justin Martyr refuted the Quran, the Prophet Muhammad, Islam. Wow, what a blunder. Now, if you guys don't believe me, although I've made several videos on my channel about Justin Martyr, let's take a look. All he has to do it's obvious he's never read anything about Justin Martyr, although he defends his friend Sam Shamoon, who makes videos about me talking about Justin Martyr and claiming that he was a Trinitarian. How would Avery, Mr. God Logic, ever know he's never opened up a book by uh, Justin Martyr? I don't think he's opened up a book very much, period. He clearly doesn't read anything. All he does is watch videos by these two clowns, David Wood and Sam Shamoon. But here, let's just do a little quick Wikipedia search and show you what Wikipedia even says about Justin Martyr. Here you have it, Justin Martyr. Where was, when was he born? A.D., meaning after the supposed death of Christ, right? The common error at the beginning of the second century in the year 100, and he died around the year 165. For my audience who doesn't know when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born, let's see when that was. Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, peace be upon him, was born in the year 570 and died in the year 632 of the Common Era. Well, it says that Justin Martyr died in the year 165. Well, if the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not born until the year 570, what does that mean? That means that Justin Martyr died several centuries, several hundred years before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was even born, let alone receiving revelation, preaching Islam, and having the Qur'an. Are you kidding me? And yet you're claiming that Justin Martyr refuted Islam, the Qur'an, and the Prophet Muhammad, and the idea that he was prophesied in the Bible? He was long gone. He was dead before the Prophet Muhammad ever was born. So you just ended your career, you're a complete joke, sir. But I'll give you one last chance, as I told you, you can end my career, I'll delete my channel, end this video, and never speak about Islam again publicly. If you can show me, either in this book, which is has the full authentic writings of Justin Martyr, it's the Fathers of the Church series, the translation by Thomas P. Fall. So I'm even giving you a source where you can read Justin Martyr, because it's obvious you never read him. You don't even know who the hell he is. You're a complete joke and a waste of time. Look, if you just read even the introduction, forget about Wikipedia page, if you cracked open a book and you just read the introduction, sir, which I have highlighted here, because I actually read books, I've read every le uh, letter of a word that Justin Martyr ever wrote. I've read everything he ever wrote. You haven't read a single thing from him. You don't know anything about him. On the very first page of the introduction, it says, Historians place his birth in the beginning of the second century, around the year 100 to 110. So he's born in the early second century, okay? And he died around the year 165. 
several hundred years before the Prophet Muhammad ever even was born. It's a complete joke, man. I can't believe this. This is the level of research that he does. He hears Justin Martyr somehow. He heard Justin Martyr before. He heard that word from watching a random Sam Shamoon video. And then he associates that with the refutation of Islam and says, Justin Martyr, Justin Martyr. Remember, he said it three times. I want to play it for you guys just one more time. So you see that I'm not being unfair that he mentions Justin Martyr's name three times. So we can't say that he misspoke. What are we going to say? He misspoke three times? And if so, who did he mean? No, he said Justin Martyr. Justin Martyr, for example, that calls Muhammad out. Justin Martyr calls Muhammad out. <laughs> he wouldn't know Muhammad, peace be upon him, if it slapped him across the face at that time. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, wasn't born for several hundred years after that. It calls the Prophet Muhammad out. Justin Martyr calls Islam out. Justin Martyr calls the Quran out. Well, do you believe that Justin Martyr was a prophet himself? Do you believe there was another prophet after Jesus? Maybe you believe that Justin Martyr himself was a prophet and therefore he knew about a supposed false prophet, Astaghfirullah, who would come several hundred years after whose name was Muhammad and would have the Quran. Maybe that's it. Maybe you've left Christianity and you actually believe there's a prophet after Jesus and it's not Muhammad it's actually Justin Martyr. That's the only way you can explain how we would ever make a refutation of Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Quran and Islam. What a complete joke. Now here he goes again. It's a joke because it's of the joke. things that You're it claims about Jesus and him being mentioned in the scriptures and because of this. You should read what Justin Martyr says about Islam. You should read it. So you have records of people going against Islam, these claims that Jesus said this or Jesus did this or the prophets did this. Justin Martyr made it a laughing stock about Islam, bro. Justin Martyr made it a laughing stock about Islam. He refuted Islam, Quran, and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Wow, maybe that's the best refutation God Logic's got. Mr. No Logic Avery, what a joke, man. Come on, bro. Even you gotta admit you took the L on this one and say, yeah, Jake caught me. I don't like him. I don't like the Muslim metaphysician, but he caught me on this one. I made a really stupid comment. And I didn't just misspeak. I repeated it three times that Justin Martyr did this, even though he died several hundred years before the Prophet Muhammad. So you have two options. You show me in this book or any authentic writing from Justin Martyr about where he ever refuted Islam and the Prophet Muhammad and the Quran. And if you do, I will delete this video and delete my channel for good and you'll never hear me speak about Islam again publicly. Or you come out and admit that you're a charlatan and a moron and you don't do any actual genuine research other than regurgitating some videos you watched from Sam Shamoon and David Wood. And therefore, nobody should take you seriously, including any Muslims who have watched your videos. Muslims should stop going on your streams and speaking to you. Don't even waste your time on this buffoon. Look at him. He does no genuine research. He's a complete moron, complete fool. <laughs> it's, it's just unbelievable. And Christians, I'm not telling you to leave your religion because God logic is an idiot. Just stop watching his videos and and taking him seriously. How could you take his claims and his supposed research about Islam and the Quran seriously, and even what he says about the Bible, about your own religion, Christianity, if the guy has no idea what he's talking about? He's making a connection between Justin Martyr and a refutation of the Quran and the Prophet, peace be upon him. The only laughing stock is you, Mr. Avery God Logic. You should probably delete your channel. You won't be able to meet my challenge and show me where he ever wrote about Islam and Muslims. And with that being said, guys, don't take this guy seriously. He's a complete fraud, complete joke, waste of time. That's for both Christians and Muslims. Anyway, if you guys like this video, if you enjoyed it, would like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving it a like, and commenting on it. Really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, the best way to do so is to donate at the GoFundMe link, which is pinned at the top of the description of this video, as well as my other videos. With that being said, guys, I thank you you all again for watching until next time inshallah hopefully we don't have to deal with this knucklehead again complete fool but until next time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh